Hello everybody, welcome back to PDSP, and it's time for us to continue on our adventure. Um, so to continue, after you've kind of cleaned up, got all the items that you want, obviously feel free to do some more exploration if you wish to. Um, I'm sure there are other parts that you can get to, but um, for now we, we are going to be moving forward and we're going to be dealing with Team Galactic's um, HQ slash base. What you're going to want to do for that is uh, come over to Veilstone City here uh, and you're going to want to <coughs> come over to this um, building you can see just here and most specifically we actually want to talk to this guy who's going to uh, get all worried and he's going to run off and drop his storage key which we're going to need to get on in. Clumsy boy, give me the key to what I want. With that done then, we want to get over to the left hand side. I think it should be able to do it through here. Here we are. Can we use rock slide yet? I don't think we can. Yeah. Oh, we do have rock climb, so we can actually get an item in the middle there as well. Let's go do that. I almost forgot. It's waterfall we don't have yet. We get that from the last gym. Weirdly enough, I've managed to, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's like reasonings for them to uh, uh, like put certain moves in certain periods of the game, but it's kind of funny that we've like had a water and an ice gym, neither of them had waterfall. It's just going to be the electric gym that does. Anyway, so now we get to come into the storage room just here. <clears throat> and this guy's like, hey, you don't have a key, haha. <laughs> Remember, this is where we've got fly. However, we do, in fact, have a key. In any case, we get ourselves the Dusk Stone. Very nice little item there. Um, <clears throat> I think that's the only one that we actually get given. Uh, I don't know if we get more of those. That involves either Mirko or Mistrevus, if you happen to have one of those in your uh, in your team. Not bad. Not a bad little item. Now, I did write some notes. Those I only wrote notes for the... For the pads, there are um, teleportation pads in here for those that use those kind of things. Uh, we'll get a key that brings us up this end later. Don't know if you fight me or not. No. So, uh, if you make it to this this part, Sarge, thank you very much for commenting on one of the earlier videos and letting me know that you do in fact prefer it when we skip the uh, the chaff trainer battles. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing. With this one dealt with, we can now head on forwards. Continue. Moving along our merry way. Uh, do we have loot up here? Yes, we do. And get you all sorted and fought out. Cool, with that get dealt with, we can continue moving forward up the stairs. This is where I'm going to have to read my notes. So I apologise if... Wow, I can't see my mask. Oh, there we go. Apologise if it slows me down a little bit. Um, we are going to want to... Uh, make sure we get all the loot in here. So, Team Galactic base pads. Take the pad on the right first, then pad on the left. Okay, so let's, fa let's face off you. Okay, so I'm going to follow my notes and trust in tired previous past Joe to be leading me the right way. Here we go. Loot for Skold. <laughs> cool. Then take pad on the right. Left, even. Hollow pads, right until upstairs. Pad left takes you to key and sludge bomb. Aha! Let's face off against you! Hello, Mr. Scientist, just in case they want to see your text there. Goodbye. Cool, this guy down, let's move past him, see if my notes were correct. Such well. Correct. Not a bad move for Gengar to learn, actually. I haven't decided what I want his final moves to be. Um, I feel like Shadow Ball, uh, Giga Drain, and... Dazzling Gleam are the essentials. And then it comes down to, to whatever we want after that, I suppose. Which actually counters most of its uh, weaknesses. Which is kind of cool. Uh, 
Oh well, now we continue this way. Let's face off against another opponent. Okay, with you down, we go upstairs. We have battles and a TM. Can't steal with you. No? Okay. Ah, you. Let's keep moving on, moving on. Where's my TM? Come here, you. Hey! There we go. You ain't getting away with it, pal. Okay, with those boyos dealt with. Go ahead and unlock this. There's my dazzling gleam. Oh, yes. Uh, dazzling gleam TM. Now we can leave and head to Team Galactic HQ. That's what my notes say. That's what we're going to do. We're going to come out this way. Um, I think I'll like two is out. I don't, know, I don't know which one exactly is quicker. But, uh... Let's go the way that we're going now. Should be open. Should be able to open the door with the new key we have. Yeah, there's nothing there we need to care about. Okay, <clears throat> so we're heading back out. I love the music in this game. <laughs> I feel like they nailed it. Head all the way back round, I suppose. If you need to heal, now's a good time. I think I'm okay though. So now, I think we picked up a key. Did pick up a key? Yes. And we are in. Time for y'all to feel the fury! Okay, so, uh, with those two dealt with, we can move onwards now. Should be... Yeah, uh, let me have a look at my sources. So, head upstairs, bottom right. Bottom right, but first, then skip the top one, because it's dead end, yeah. So this one... Grab some loot, and then, uh... You skip the top right one because it's it's just a dead end to nothing. Let's grab that. Max revive. Okay, that's that done. So we head here. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Upstairs, use bottom right pad first. Skip the top right as that's a dead end. Left to beds, healing upstairs. Loop around for full restore. Okay, so let's deal with you. Okay, so with his Pokemon defeated, we move on. So we should come to the beds here. Yes. So we can rest the beds, this is going to heal our Pokemon back up to full. <coughs> Which is very nice. Uh, loop around for full restore. Was it? <laughs> yes! I love my notes. Uh, <laughs> I, make, I make them so cryptic, cryptic for myself sometimes. Alright, uh, double battle. We'll skip to after this. Okay, so those two defeated. I actually went back to the bed to rest because my uh, Electivire got stunkied and I say I say took aftermathed, and so I figured managed to get to full health. Ah, yes, three, three things. So, <clears throat> uh, what do we have here? Right leads to something. Left left pad leads to boss. Middle leads to elixir. I, apparently, I didn't write what this one leads to. So let's go for this one. What is it? Nothing. Why did that lead to nothing? It leads to something. It didn't lead to anything. Uh, middle should lead to an elixir. There we go. <clears throat> and the left one will lead to the boss. Uh, 
Uh, that's where story stuff comes in. So I'll probably try not to skip past the dialogue too much, just in case people want to see that. Yeah, here we are to for Cyrus. It's also going to give us the Master Ball to beat him as well. Hello, my boy. So this battle obviously stays in. I think he counts as a boss, right? Must do. Sounds like Spock, but evil, right? <laughs> He'll test us himself. Starts with Murkrow. Which is going to be very bad for you, sir. We get super effective against you. <laughs> Electivire says no. Ah, go back. Also flying. Yes, yes, she can be praised for landing a crit. Not that you needed it. Show off. <coughs> Sneasel. Let's go double bad for you. <coughs> Interesting that they decided to lip sync for that bit. Are we getting close to voice animating? <laughs> uh, I don't think it matters, do you? Sorry, Sneezo. You have a you have a cool look about you and everything. Thanks for the cash, sir. It's an interesting, interesting way for him to react. Tells us so much, but there we go. <coughs> so, uh, to the pad, as he says. <coughs> and now we get to face Saturn. His uh, subordinates do seem to be uh, stronger than he is in battle, which is interesting. It's time to get these set free. Gonna consider Thunder Punch to be enough. Stab should make sure this hurts. Yeah. Yeah! Level 56 for Electivire. It's very nice. Bronzor! Uh, doesn't like Gengar very much. I have come to find out.
Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't like very many moves at all, does it? Wow. I think you do need to give Dazzling Green. Toxic Croak. Poison Fighting. I'm going to love this. to go all in, right? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Thank you for your, like, fairly strong evolved Pokemon there. We'll take the XP. Real nice. It's all looking rather ominous, right? It's time for us to leave. Uh, now, I don't believe we can catch this Pokemon yet. <clears throat> They're kind of important for the uh, final stage of the game, so... <laughs> I haven't checked, technically, but um, it would seem uh, logical to believe that we can't quite catch them just yet. Now we can uh, get out of this place. And there we are. So that is the Team Galactic HQ done. Hopefully that didn't take too much of your time. 17 minutes, not too bad actually. Uh, it's a good time for me to heal. Let's do that. And then in addition to healing, um, we will head to the southern entrance of Mount Garnet. So, to get to where we want to get to, we have a choice. So obviously you can either go from uh, Hot Home City or you can come from uh, Orberg City. He wasn't lying, they said where we first met. It's going to be in this cave here at the bottom of Mount Carnet. You can't get in there from the top. There'll be um, a Team Galactic member in there, and there is a rock that blocks you. Uh, instead, you actually end up being able to use this as a shortcut out rather than in. So, we'll take a fast travel to Orberg City, because why not? And I will see you all in the cave. Until then, have a good one.